Jazz has taken me to some of the most beautiful places in the world, from some of the most gorgeous mountain resorts to musically historical venues like the Grand Old Opry, to the Gulf Coast of Mississippi, uh, building houses with Habitat for Humanity. I go out walking. Every night when we pull up into a new venue, it's so exciting. Everything from hair, makeup, what I'm gonna wear, what I'm thinking about those minutes before I walk on stage and before the band walks on stage. The crew, they're all working so hard and we're really just enjoying the process because we know that in a couple hours, those seats are gonna be filled and we're gonna be entertaining people and hopefully bringing some joy and appreciation for this type of music. Our show combines great American songbook classics along with original new tunes that I write with several of my band members. I, I have the best band in the world. They're called the Jazz Your Az Band. That's A-Z-Z. -Z. <laughs> and every time I say that on stage, everybody gets a little chuckle. We hope every night when we go out there that that's what we do, that we jazz their asses. And I think we do. There are a lot of bands that have a world-class element to them. Every element in this band is world-class. Getting to play off of each other, hear what the other guys are doing and react to it, really pulls all of our performances up. There's this really cool combination of different, you know, things that I wasn't necessarily exposed to that I've been able to use to build in my own craft. When you've got a star like Anna out front just pulling the whole thing along, it really creates a lot of energy. She is a phenomenal performer, that she has this way of, of connecting, you know, in a beautiful way. Um, she makes you feel 100%. Oh, the nightlife ain't no good life, but it's my life. Many people just like I grew up on songs like, What's It All About, Alfie? To, you know, On the Street Where You Live, Fly Me to the Moon, all that great fun swinging stuff. Because I love the sound and because I love that era of music, it makes me want to create my own version of that in modern day lyric and music. I'm a songwriter and it's very important to me to continue to write songs and not just sing songs that were of that era. That's what makes a house a home. The song I wrote for Habitat for Humanity is called A House of Home. I've had the chance to perform it all over the world in so many amazing experiences. I got to perform it with the Mississippi Mass Choir. It's definitely a song that we feature in our show every night. And I do get a lot of people at the end of every night say, wow, you really brought a tear to my eye. That, that's really wonderful. That's been really the gift that has given back to me the most, um, is just to be able to touch people's hearts with the song and make them maybe feel something and want to go out in their community and build a house with their church or school or community organization. People inside the people inside that make a house a home. You will never ever know. Oh, I love you so. over the world and we played all different kinds of interesting shows. What I find about all those different settings, jazz festivals to theater shows, is that this show works in any setting. It really is a celebration of music. It's not all calculated. You know, we have our show, we bring a consistent level of show to everything we do, but every night, of course, because it's live, is different and that's what makes it exciting.